Divine Diablos, let's go. All out launch. I'm very excited to finally use Ramza because he's a character that was always bad timing for me. Whenever he came out with some new upgrade, whether it be his EX weapon or EX plus, whatever it may be, he always had horrible timing for me. There was always other characters that I wanted to max out more right around the time. But then if you guys remember back when we got those 10 free EX tokens, his was the one that I got. And it just sat there for the longest time because that's back when Ingots were a struggle. And again, I had other priorities at the time. But now, Ramza's day is finally here. With this LD, it's magnificent. So, I had to go with the all-out launch setup, given the fact that Ramza is now a launcher. What better companions than Cloud and Kai? Now, you'll see, moving forward with this, there's other battle mechanics that different teams should pay more attention to. This one, it doesn't really matter much, because he gets to a point where, after you get him under the 80% HP threshold, he puts up this dark aura where he absorbs all elements, and I, of course, waited until that exact moment to use my DKC call. So there he is, hacking away at this thing and just feeding him brave. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, the absorption. Whoops. Same thing happened with the Pandemonium Summon. You'll see it when we get there. I'm like, all right, let's go. Oh yeah, that's right, elements. So I would highly recommend Odin for this because you won't have to worry about that. You can go into the summon with him having the Dark Aura and you'll be fine. Normally what you would do is you'd let him take a turn, take the hit, and just move on. Because then the Aura will drop, but I didn't want him having a turn. I wanted to just juggle the dude, so that's what we're doing. See, a second ago on Ramza's turn would have been the opportune time to use the DKC call, but mistakes were made. It's okay, though. This team is powerful enough where it doesn't really matter. I mean, you'll see it when we get there. See, Dark Energies, that's the aura I'm talking about. And Machina. I brought the Machina What's call. I, I wanted to bring Machina here, but he kind of he kind of would have disrupted the flow of the rest of this team, if you ask me. He would have been good. He would have worked just fine. And he is a lot better now with his LD board, my god, but I wanted this setup. So right here, this is what I'm talking about. Don't do this when he has this aura up, because then this will happen. Yeah, that battery was disgraceful. Normally everybody's full, but that's all contingent on DK say dude. DK say that DKC Dark Knight Zethel doing damage. That's where the battery comes from. But he can't do that if his damage is being absorbed. So my mistake. Special shout out to Yoshi Pasta for your Ramza friend. Thank you. My Ramza does not have the burst, so I wanted to swap one in that does. So that I could stack Ramza's burst effect on top of clouds. And it was pretty juicy. I liked it. We were still doing pretty good damage in this summon, even though he's sitting there at like 75k brave ready to kill us. It didn't matter. Something else I didn't realize. That canceled the LD call effect. Didn't know that. So yeah, this is my first time doing this fight using LD calls and using Ramza. <laughs> I learned about all of those things here all at once. So you get to see all the errors and, and whatnot. So... I want to stack this. My plan here was to set my Ramza up with a launch, so that way when he comes back, he can just get to it. Didn't really end up working out, and you'll see why when we get there. Oh, and the orb, which I have not talked about, because we kind of just powered through it. But normally how that orb works is it's contingent on granting buffs. I think I believe it's four or more. I'd have to double check. But you need to grant four or more buffs in one turn. So that's why Ramza is great for that. Beatrix is another one who's really good to deal with the orb. And if you want to actually let the dark aura drop, you can just pop the Beatrix safeguard. This thing will swing at somebody, try to kill him, hit zeros, aura's gone. And then you can just go to town. Yeah, big fan of Ramza. I mean, he's always been good. But now, now he's... That's right up my alley. 
I don't know what it is. Something about turn delay full battery launches. I just can't get enough of it. That was sarcasm, clearly. Everybody knows why, because those mechanics are busted in this game. So why not take advantage of them? And this would have worked out so well if it weren't for the the aura he has put up. We have both burst effects active. Burst effects. Burst effects. <laughs> right into the summon. And then... Absorb. Another oops. But does it matter? Look, we're still... It's gonna battery around it. It's okay. Yeah, you can tell this is what I'm really starting to notice. I'm like, oh. Can't really do much about that. Yes, the consecutive hit will hit uh, zeros, but doesn't matter. I just wanted his buff refreshed. Damage is still good, though. Not a problem. Another consecutive hit that will be a big fat zero. But we got the delay. It's okay. Okay, we're out of the summon. We can actually break this now. Good. So now let's just rush him down. He's already in the red. Not much to worry about. Despite that little hang up there. Damn, that's nice. It makes me want Rhymes as burst, but... I'm not going to pull for it on this banner. I mean, we got three more chances to get it. And of course, that is in such square fashion to give us a bunch of free pulls for Ramza's bursts on consecutive banners. But for his LD, we don't get any free pulls at all. That's, that's very square to do something like that. But it's okay. I would highly recommend pulling for this dude, though. He is really good. He's a solid support. And they gave him the one thing that he needed to be a really well-rounded, complete support, and that's healing. Dude can heal now. I mean, how many different mechanics are they going to give one character? So this guy has, as of today, he's got full battery launches he's, and turn delay in healing. Before that, he had amazing buffs, awesome auras, great battery, and free turns. To bring my Ramza back. And see, look, the orb is at one, but watch when I hit Galvanize. Refreshed. Nothing to worry about. We lost the launch, but we'll just make it happen again. We gotta delay him anyway, so let's do it. Now, what I should have done here is use my critical crushes before I did this. That probably would have been a kill, but I didn't really think about it. Could have kept it at 29, but that's okay. Because you know what? We can do the enervate finish. So there you go. That's how you just power through Diablos and ignore all of his mechanics. And have it just not matter whatsoever. Alright, good luck to everyone else. And thank you for watching. Get down here, Merc.